This is News 360. Thanks for staying with us. Time for Mission Now. Mission is sponsored by Star Ghana with funding from Danida UK Aid as well as the EU. Our mission tonight, we focus our attention on the Wa East District. And this is a story aired two years ago on Mission's first visit to that particular district. The battle poor infrastructure daily in order to save lives, yet health workers in the Wa East District of the Upper West Region are compelled to use three days instead of one day to deliver health care. Brighton are now for reports, two water bodies that divide the district into two increases travel time. Daily, health workers struggle to beat time. Yet, saving lives is a duty they must perform. A poor road network hinders healthcare delivery. No two communities are joined by a tired road in the Wa East District. Commercial vehicles ply route less. It is not profitable. Commuting from one end to the other is therefore a headache. Two water bodies separate the district. Funsi, the capital, is on one side with over 20 villages and Bilinga, another community with over 100 villages on the other. You cannot cross to the other side of the district without crossing the river. The water is low now, the tides are low, and so I can easily walk across. Motorbikes and vehicles, four-wheel drives particularly, can also cross. This will enable you to access the other part of the district. Then the bigger of the two, the Kulian River. It takes courage to cross even at this time of the year. It is safe to cross at this time, but impossible when the river is full. That's a scale you need to. That's a certain scale that you need to get to move the car from there. That scale is always gotten by these drivers who have worked here over and over again. This is exactly what happens here on the Kulin River every day. You sit on it, then it cross. Let's go, uh, But this one, it can't. No, no, uh, oh, it's to no go. Ah, it's too much. Well, water is too much. Can up, up, up like this. It's flowers, it's no day. It's flowers, cover flowers yes. all. It's calf. That, is this? That's car park. Mm. It's, water is calm. It's there. It's the water? It's the car, the park here. You go all the way there. Yeah, top, the top, 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 top. Yeah, car park here. Water is calm. It's fly. He's trying to tell me how. Uh, the river can uh, get filled up to the extent that you won't even see uh, the vegetation around. We parked our car about uh, some five minutes drive away. He said the water can get there so that you can't even park there when the water is filled up. Medical consumables are not delivered on time. Documents are not signed early enough. Healthcare delivery is delayed. Pregnant women who need healthcare don't get it. They sit for hours waiting for healthcare officials who turn up late. We have to travel more distance than the other district. So work, uh, work that we, time that we would have used to work is always lost as a result of travel, long travel hours. And aside that, the risk of being on the bike is very, very, very high. District health officials have, however, devised means to deal with the problem. In terms of logistic provision, what we do is to provide some at that section, a building section for them, where the storekeeper will have to move from here to that place to serve them. And when there's the need 
for them to what we cannot provide, then we make a request for them to go to the medical store at the region to pick the, that one. But this doesn't solve the entire problem. Their plea is for bridges to be constructed on the two water bodies. The road network system in what is actually is posing a threat to uh, health uh, issues in the area. Within the Fonsi Township, that is the district capital, uh, sometimes we just use the grader to sip uh, within, but uh, the assembly will not have that capacity to finance uh, graveling or uh, opening up a road to link some communities. If a central government doesn't come in, that road, that's where if you, you have to cross three big rivers before you get to those communities. And so, for, in fact, for the past three months, none of us could get there in order to render services to them. Through nobody's fault. So, if gov I mean, central government comes in, I mean, just open up the place, make sure the road network is available, then uh, on the ground, we will also be filling up the patches there. Quality health care cannot be achieved until the two separated parts of the district are linked by two bridges. Meanwhile, preparatory works on putting a bridge over River Kulung in the district has started. Actual work will start in January 2020 and it is expected to be completed in September 2020. Again, Brighton and Aumfo reports this is a dream come true for residents of the district. Ten. 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 Kulung is happy, a community that was neglected. But today, a dream is a reality. A bridge on River Kulung will save lives, boost the local economy, and bring back hope. This is only the preparatory work for Monk Civil Engineering to begin the construction of a bridge over the Kulin River. Already residents are excited. This is a dream come true. They have for long gone through hardship and drudgery in a bid to access certain parts of the district. And this will open up the district to more economic activities. The Wa East District, created in 2004, has been deprived due to this. <laughs> The district has been divided by the river, mm. but now that it is going to be breached, meaning it is going to bring the district together, and then the administration of the district now is going to be very, very simple for us. Because for now, if you want to do anything around the building belt, you have to pass through uh, before you get there. But immediately this river is breached, then it is going to be very, very, very close. Mm. So you could go to Bulinga, do whatever you want, and come back to the district capital. Hundreds struggle daily to access health care. Health staff are rendered inefficient. If the bridge is complete, it will be easy for us to always um, refer people. See, then the road will be kind of busy. Uh, anytime you refer, you have a um, car or a lorry to pick the person to. Or... The bridge will link over 70,000 population to a local economy at the district capital, Funsi. Uh, most of the people around this area are farmers and they produce a lot of maize. Uh, because of that river, vehicles find it very difficult to go to some of the markets. And people outside the district come in and they take the advantage of that to buy from them at very low prices, especially the maize. But once the river is going to be bridged, then it will mean that farmers can themselves can transport their farm produce to this regional capital or wherever they can get a very good market to sell their goods. The risk of crossing the river, the dangers of drowning, locked up food staff, and medicines that can't be delivered will soon be over. Mission played a great role in this. Uh, the people of Kulun is very excited because since Nkroma time up to date, nobody came here to talk of this river. But due to the 
effort of UTV3, now they are ready to bridge it. So we are very, very excited about the work they are doing. For residents of Funsi, Belenga, Holomuni, and Parwogo, a four and a half hour tortuous journey will soon be cut to one hour. Bright Nananfo, TV3, Kulung. And well said, mission really does get results. Well, that's it for Mission Tonight. Mission was sponsored by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Isai standing by to look at some more news updates tonight.